as the head of data monitoring and management at Pfizer, my, primary, my two primary roles are overseeing the central monitoring group, which is the, the data monitoring part of that, of that title, and the data management group, both in its traditional senses as well as more modern senses in the, in the context of reporting and analysis. Working in a space where there's a tangible impact on other humans, not just a, it's sure, building a home might be great, building a car might be great. Uh, being able to see the results of something you're working on, whether directly or indirectly, affecting patients' lives. That really has, was what brought me to this space and what kept me in this space for 28 years. We're in an interesting transition right now at Pfizer because while implementing the new technologies, we're also changing our operating model from a fully outsourced model to an in-source model. The main differentiator for me is what's the most well-rounded package because at this, at this point in the game in the evolution of clinical research, the majority of our data is not coming in through EDC. To me, the differentiator is that back end, the data hub, the place where you're designing your study, not just for the data you're collecting in the EDC, but where you're accounting for your ePro or eCore sensor data, your electronic health record data, your central lab data, your imaging data, your biomarker data. All of this is what defines the study. But as an industry, I think we're still focusing too much on the EDC component rather than the concept of a data management environment. And I don't mean data management the function, I mean data management the, the process. The top benefits of using a connected environment, something like Inform and DMW, um, it, from, from my perspective, it forces the thought process. We always talk about collecting with the end in mind. So don't just design a collection standard because it seems like it's the C dash defined item or because you think it's the fanciest form, but do it because your protocol needs it to demonstrate some endpoint. In, in interacting with a system like DMW and having to think about your mappings upfront, how is this going to, how is this data point you're collecting going to fit into the story you're telling about the patient? Another big point is the, the ability to incorporate the third party data through the same interface. It really, I think it's one of the top features of DMW is you now have an interface that marries up with what you're collecting in the EDC to through, an, through a proper interface, not just hard coding by, by some statistical programmer who's a whiz in SAS on the back end, but rather using an interface to define where the data that's coming in fits into the, into the whole study and sense telling a better story. And then I think last but not least, being a data manager at heart, having an interface specifically designed for the data manager. Clinical trials, the rate of change in the last few years has been extreme. Um, it's more, when, when EDC was new, we used to say it's an evolution, not a revolution. I think if we flip that on its side and say, is the, is the volume and, and, and variety of data being included in clinical trials today still an evolution or evolution. I think we've crossed that line. I think it's a revolution. So as organizations, we'll have to adapt. We'll, we all have to be really cautious to make sure we're collecting things that are fit for purpose. And again, focus more on how we're gonna integrate all of these data from all these sources, and perhaps a little, a little less on just that EDC front end.